Well, the time is here. We're going to talk about it. I didn't really want to make this video, but I knew and I know that I should. So here we are. We're going to talk about Niantic's response to Pokemon No Day being number two. Number two. Just right below Taylor Swift trending on Twitter. That's huge. So round of applause for us, the Pokemon Go community. Sad we had to do that. But anyways, um, we're going to talk about Niantic's response. I'm just going to go ahead straight up to start reading it. And I'll give you my thoughts and I'll give you additional thoughts on free to play, no playing, continuing to spending money, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you've heard it a million times. I'm going to go ahead and put Niantic's response up here on the screen. I'll be reading it off my phone here. Uh, sadly, no Pokemon Go in this video. But here we go. That was so unfortunate. Alrighty, let's let's try that um one more time. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. August 5th, 2021, they posted this on Thursday. It's currently Sunday. A response to our Pokemon Go community. To our Pokemon Go community, we appreciate your letter and all of your feedback. We hear you. We are humbled by your response. Now, every game has such a passionate global player base that we're fortunate to have. Like everyone else around uh, the world, our team has been working very hard to adapt to the global health environment. The recent exploration bonuses, bonus changes we've made in the US and New Zealand are designed to restore some of the foundational elements players enjoyed prior to 2020 and reward players once again for moving and exploring. Encouraging people to explore, exercise, and safely play together in person remains Niantic's mission. The health and well-being of players is our top priority, which is why we have implemented the new exploration bonuses in select geographies where it's deemed to be safe outdoors. Research has shown that taking walks outside is safe and confers several health benefits. Furthermore, encouraging outdoor exploration is in, uh, furthermore, encouraging outdoor exploration is in keeping with Niantic's mission. That said, we will continue to monitor health and safety guidelines or guidances related to outdoor activities and make ne and make future changes if necessary. We have heard your feedback about one change in particular, that of the Pokestop and gym interaction distance. We reverted the interaction distance from 80 meters back to the original 40 meters starting in the US and New Zealand because we want people to connect to real places in the real world and to visit places that are worth exploring. However, we have heard your input loud and clear, and so to address the concerns you have raised, we are taking the following actions. I've read this before, sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but we are assembling an internal cross-functional team, what does that mean, to develop proposals designed to preserve our mission of inspiring people to explore the world together while also addressing specific concerns that have been raised regarding interaction distance. We will share the findings of this task force in the next game season change, which is September 1st. As part of this process, we will also be reaching out to community leaders in the coming days to join us in this dialogue. Our goal is to build fun and engaging experiences that remain true to our mission, and we thank you for challenging us with thought and constructive feedback. The Niantic team. <laughs> okay, so if uh, mm, there's so much to say about this because it, it just flat out being honest this is a horrible horrible response the best way that i've had this response summed up i believe it was in a facebook message with some friends about the game it's kind of like when you ask your mom and dad a question when you're a kid and they say maybe because they either want one of two responses or one of two outcomes one the better of the two responses is you forget you even asked they don't even have to address the issue anymore that's exactly what i feel like this is two the second thing is they eventually just come out and say no so I'm going to go through this again, kind of read it, and I'm going to give you my sentence by sentence, paragraph by paragraph thought breakdown, because um, I got a lot to say about this. So let's from the very beginning to our community. We appreciate your letter and all of your feedback. We hear you. We are humbled by your response. Not every game has such a passionate global player base that we're fortunate enough to have. This here, many red flags. First off, uh, we hear you. It took you five years. Not every game has such a passionate global player base that we're fortunate to have. Again, it took you five years to realize all this. That it's sad. It's just sad. Blah, 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 blah. Encouraging people to explore, exercise, and safely play together in person remains Niantic's mission. Now, here's the thing. 
we can be 80 meters away and still be together. People who may still be COVID conscious, people who are in world places in the world where COVID is hard to, you know, impacting their ability to play. People who might just want to separate from the crowd, play a little more solo. People who may not have the ability to play in a crowd because of disablements or, you know, if their mental disabilies may have a harder time playing. The 80, the 80 meter distance is perfect. It still allows us to play as a community. We can still go 40 meters if we want to. If we really want to be right under the Pokestop, that's still an option for us. We're just asking for the double because it makes it that much easier, the game that much more enjoyable. We can still exercise, we can still safely play, and we can definitely still explore it. And above all, we can still definitely do this all together. We have heard your feedback about one change in particular, that of the Pokestop and gym interaction distance. And then they go on, we reverted 80 to 40. We have definitely been heard. Have you ever been heard? Someone's talking, you hear them talking, but it's just kind of chatter. That's what's going on. We're being heard. We're not being listened to. There's a difference. You can be heard and not listened to. You can be listened to, but to be listened to, you have to be heard. I hear the birds. I'm not listening to them. I hear the cars passing by on the streets outside my house. I'm not listening to them. I hear them. You might hear a train pass by, but are you listening for the train? Probably not. This is what's going on with Niantic. They've heard us, but they're not listening to us. They they go on later in the letter to state that they're filming a, um, I gotta read it. It's so funny the way they word it. We are assembling an internal cross-functional team to develop proposals designed to preserve our mission of inspiring people to explore the world while also addressing specific concerns that have been raised regarding the interaction distance. Niantic, what does that mean? What is a internal cross-functional team? I mean, sure, reading it, it's a team that is able to, you know, back Niantic and also back the players, but that's still one side. If it's an internal team, you're gonna lean Niantic, we're not dumb. And the fact that this is Niantic's response saying they're building a team just, again, proves that they're hearing us, not listening to us. And the funniest part about this whole thing to me, the funniest part is Niantic states exactly what we're mad about and what we want in this, in this, in this letter. It's, it's, we are, we, we reduce the distance. It's so niantic of them. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's insult. It's so, I just don't even have the words for it. I really don't because it's sad. It really, this is such a sad, piss poor response. And above all, I'm not surprised, which is probably the saddest part of it all. Um, so going forwards with niantic, I'm, I'm looking forward to September 1st zero expectations I'm expecting them to continue with the 80 meters I really am and they're gonna give us some BS response like this and that's just that and there's nothing we can do because Niantic is Niantic and they're also we got to keep in mind with the Nintendo the Pokemon company <laughs> and Nintendo you have to keep that in mind as well it's not just Niantic Niantic has become the punching bag and sucks for them Hopefully more truth will come out if it's not all them, but what it seems like is it's all Niantic. So yeah, that's Niantic's response. It's it's uh, disappointing to say the least. Anyways, here's my thoughts. I've been a pretty free to play player. I've bought one or two community day tickets. I've done two go fests. So that there is 15, 20, 30. I bought two of the $15 boxes. So it's about $60 spent on the game. And probably various porky coins here and there. I'd say no more than a hundred, absolutely no more than a hundred dollars I've spent on this game. But I'm going 100% free to play. Two raid passes a day. Please use them. I'm gonna be hopefully making a trip to it. I, I have already places where I have a lot of pokey stops that I have not yet spun. I don't even think I have a lucky egg le left. But if I do, I'll crack it. Get a bunch of experience that way. But no, no more money on this game. I, I went to raid hour last week. Two raids went home. Uh, Magnemite Community Day. I spent more time running Pokestop to Pokestop to keep my Pokeballs up than I did catching the actual Magnemite. That sucked. That was not fun. That was work. So I actually stopped playing about halfway through. Got my two raids done. Went home. So it's it's a it's an interesting time for the Pokemon community. It's a very difficult time. There's people who are still playing. There's people who are not playing at all, which I should do another video on because I think quitting Pokemon Go is the worst move you can make in this situation. Anyways, that is, uh, that's Niantic's response. Yeah, it's disappointing. I wish it were better. I wish it were a 
response we were excited about, at least. Not even that. I wish it was a response we were mad about. I just, I want to be at the baseline. We're here. We're mad still. I'm still mad. This pissed me off more. I would have been more than happy to wait until Monday, which would be tomorrow, for a, uh, uh, a response that's not this. For a response literally anything other than what they gave us. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still playing Pokemon Go. I'm still trying to get outside. Pokemon Go is what gets me outside. It gets me moving. It gets me walking. But uh, I'm definitely enjoying it differently. I'm definitely going forwards about it differently. I hope you are too. If you're not, that's cool, man. I know a bunch of people that are still pouring in the, the change, pouring in the money, playing just the same. But that being said, Niantic, hear us, please. Please listen to us. You've heard us. You're not listening. Anyways, I'm just going to ramble at this point. Hopefully this was helpful. I hope you're having a great morning, night, afternoon, midnight snack, whatever you're doing. If you found this video helpful, engaging, entertaining, any of the above or none of the above, go ahead and drop a sub, drop a like. It would be appreciative. The community is growing. It's getting a little bigger every day. So thank you to all the new people who have stopped by, dropped a like, dropped a sub. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, glad you're here. We're gonna get through this together no matter what happens fingers crossed it's what we want but with that i will be seeing you out on the next video thank you for being here thank you for hanging out have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you later <laughs>